What's up guys, this is Theo here coming to you live with another JavaScript coding tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to use Fetch, which is a browser API that allows you to make HTTP requests and uh, get back the data. So uh, let's try it out. The first thing I need to do is write a variable here called request. You want to set that equal to a new request. And in here you just patch, uh, pass in the API endpoint. So in my case it's going to be HTTPS. Uh, colon slash slash api to github.com slash users slash anderson tr15 and um, we can log out what the request object has in it we see it has all of these methods keys sets get all json method get so you could say request up method and it should be get so that's cool um, I think, yeah, I think if you try to change it to post, you get an error. Log request. I'm just curious. Yeah, I don't think you can change that. Um, so yeah, it's just to make a get request. So what we're going to do now to run it, you, you call fetch. And this is just like the HTTP up get. And this is the request. And we say dot then function response with that pro promise. I'm just going to return the response dot then function and we just want json back so we're going to say json we're going to console.log json and we're going to say json and then let me see what we're missing uh json plus json yeah we got the json back we want the json dot name json undefined let's look at what we're getting json then function console.log and function json. Let me look real quick. Turn function response.json. Console.json. Oh, okay. I know what I need to do. Response return and function response.json. JSON object. Let me see real quick. So you can actually use it to get JSON and let me. Let's see. Okay, return response dot JSON dot then function JSON. Okay, so basically what we did is let me just close that off. Return response dot JSON then function JSON. We can console dot log JSON is plus JSON. Let's see what we're getting back. JSON is JSON object. And let's just look at uh, json.name. Okay, so that's how we access our name right there. If we want to console.dir, see what we're getting back, we'll just look at the json and see we're getting object to object, console.log, json. Okay, that'll give us back all of our json. And then, you know, just to access it, the members of this, um, this object will say json.name. So that's cool. And we got that back. So that's how you manipulate your data right there. We can actually, we'll do something cool. We'll use RxJS and we'll import that. So now we got our whole uh, request. This will just be, um, let's see, uh, fetch request. Let's see if we can wrap this in a promise. We can say our promise equals, and then let's just take out that. Uh, if our promise equals fetch request, let me see if I can use this. Um, I'm going to do uh, var source equals rx dot observable, and we'll say um, rx observable from promise. We'll say promise, and let's console dot log our source and see what we're getting back. Okay. Looks like it's it's working. Um, so let's subscribe to our source. So we'll say var subscription equals source dot subscribe. It's a method on the object, and we'll just say function uh, on next. We'll take in some data, or we'll just take in a response. And we'll console dot log response plus response. Let's see what we're getting back. Object response. Okay, that's good. And then it also has two other callback methods. So we'll say function on error. 
um, is we're going to log out the error. So we'll say console console.error. We'll say error plus error. And then finally, we will do function function on completed. And this will just say console.log completed. So now, not getting any errors, but let's actually make sure we fill in some of these semicolons real quick. Then we can do subscription.dispose. Okay, so now we're going to stop listening after we get the data back. Um, Oh, I guess I exposed it, so it's not gonna run anymore. Okay. But, uh, so we got that, but let's actually see if we're getting our name. So let's just do our name equals response.name. And then let's see if we can actually get my name. Completed response undefined. Let's just look at what we're getting back. Console.derResponse. Oh, right, because this is the, uh, uh, this is the uh, fetch API. We're gonna have to actually do this. We're gonna do response dot JSON. We're gonna yeah. We're gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to do response dot JSON dot then function JSON. We'll do um, we'll do var name equals and we'll just do um, name equals JSON dot name. Let's see why we're not getting it back. Response, console.log. Okay, there we go, we got it back. So, um, I don't know if the fetch API is the best to use just because this is kind of, it sort of goes against the observable method, but uh, we're getting this response back, we're converting it to JSON, and then we're, after that, that function has run, then we're uh, we're going to get a response object back from that. So it's just going to be called JSON. And then we're going to access the member of that object called name. And we're just going to call it um, name. So if, if similarly, if I change this to like 155, well, let's see, does that user actually exist? 155. Oh, that's actually still working. Uh, user completed response undefined. Okay, that's strange. I gotta look more at the fetch API. Usually at this point we should be getting the error. But uh, yeah, guys, just wanted to show you a really quick video of uh, how to uh, use the fetch API and to incorporate it with ArxJS. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, catch you guys in the next video. Thanks. Uh, have a great day.